Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be making a chicken sandwich and fries. Had a little taste for something fried. So here's an alternate alternative method to having chicken and eating potato french fries. Here I am peeling a, a green burro banana. It is black in color because I put it in the refrigerator to stop it from turning yellow. And you have to kind of score the banana so you can get the skin off. And during this process, it can uh, get between your nails and change your color of your nails. But it will come right off once you wash your hands. For the parts of the um, skin that give you a hard time peeling off, you can just lightly go across it with your knife to remove those um, the the skin off of the banana. Try not to cut too deep because you want to keep most of the banana. You just want to really get rid of the skin. And here I am just cutting the the banana in half and then into wedge shapes. I did slice them down the middle and I'm sitting in a bowl of water just to see what that would do. Um, I didn't see any a big difference in using that water method, so I wouldn't I won't try that again. And you don't have to cut them as small, but I was just trying to get them in the bowl. You can keep them long. And I'm using about, I believe, six bananas. Here you can see this is a fresh banana from the store. Um, and it's easier to peel if you go ahead on and buy them the day of that you plan to cook. But if you buy them earlier... And you don't want them to turn um, yellow. Then you can put them in the refrigerator. And then what's happened, they turn black. But they're still fine for you to fry them up. Now you can still fry some of your bananas if the skin turns um, yellow. But just remember it's going to be sweeter and it's not going to give you that potato taste. And it could be it could be a little sticky to touch. And here I have um, I am pan frying in the very shallow oil, and I'm using avocado oil. You could use grapeseed oil, and I'm just putting in a couple of of the burro banana fries in the pan. Then I move it around a little bit because they tend to stick together. And then once they fry up a little bit, they will um, separate. Then once they are cooked golden brown on each side, I pull them out and um, allow the excess oil to drip off and salt them immediately. Okay, let's make us a bread for our chicken sandwich. Here I am pouring in one cup of coconut milk. And I'm going to use two cups of spelt flour. You could substitute um, your coconut milk for like two cups to, of sparkling water. I also added one half teaspoon of sea salt and one fourth cup of agave. Go ahead and stir your mixture up until it's the same consistency as um, your pancake batter. Once you have a pancake batter consistency, go ahead and pour your batter into your mini waffle maker and cook until golden brown. This is a great substitute when you don't want to knead any dough. It's quick and simple. Just make it similar as a pancake batter. Go 
Go ahead and mix all your ingredients and gradually add in your water until you get a smooth um, batter consistency. I did go ahead. I did season my mushrooms. I used 12 ounces or one pack of mushrooms and I did season them with all the ingredients prior to because I like to have my mushrooms well seasoned. I'm using a tongue method because it's less um, messy for me. But if you have a problem with your um, batter coming off, you can do wet batter, dry batter, and then squeeze the flour onto the mushroom so that it'll hold. So when you place it in the grease, the flour won't float off the mushroom. And also don't sit it in the wet batter too long because mushrooms hold a lot of moisture. And here I am doing a shallow pan fry with grapeseed oil until the mushrooms are golden brown. Remember to shake off the excess flour before putting in the oil or what will happen you will have a lot of flour pooling at the bottom of your pan which will make your oil dirty um, during the whole process. Or shall I say, you'll have a dark burn. So you won't have the lighter brown fry of the mushrooms. You'll get a, a dark kind of gritty uh, burn or dark gritty fry of the mushrooms.